Hello my lovely Aries. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. We are doing your March bonus reading and this reading is going to take a look at the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is a general reading so it may not be able to resonate for all of you and if you want something that is meant for your exact energy then I do a personals open and everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. So Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Aries, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. All right, Aries, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, the challenge between the two of you and their next action. Their general overall energy is the King of Pentacles, so I do like that. They have the Four of Pentacles here, the Queen of Swords. I feel like this person wants to talk. They want to talk. They want to have a conversation with you here. I feel like this person is finally figuring out what they want. Um, the Four of Pentacles, to me, you know, I feel like they have been holding on to you. Um... But the Four of Pentacles, his, he has got one coin over his head and then one over his heart. And they're in perfect alignment. I feel like their head and heart are finally on the same page here. I feel like they're finally figuring out what they want. Especially if they've been a very stubborn person and, you know, weren't sure what they wanted or didn't want to make any changes. I feel like that is shifting here. I feel like that could be exactly what they want to talk about. They have the Three of Swords in the reverse for their true intention. So to me, that looks like they could... Three of Swords can be a card of forgiveness. You know, they could want your forgiveness here. Don't mind the craziness in the background. My cats are playing. They have the zoomies. And then the Three of Swords in the reverse for their true intention. And to me, that is a card of, like, forgiveness um, and healing. You know, wanting to heal, wanting to, wanting to seek forgiveness here. Especially if they've been, like I said, if they've been very stubborn in the past. The King of Pentacles is here would say that they are taking things very seriously now. They're ready to commit. They're ready for something long-term. They're ready to take things seriously. Um, the Death card with it, too. Ready to make a change here. The challenge is the Four of Wands in the reverse. Some of you guys could have... Um, like had a home with this person, lived with this person. Some of you guys could have been married to this person. Um, I don't feel like that's the case for most of you, but it could be. To me, it's like the four wands in the reverse being the challenge. Something just didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. I feel like there was a lot of hurt, a lot of disappointment. The four of wands can be a card of like reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment, celebration in the reverse. You know, it's like it didn't get there. It didn't work out. And, you know, that could have caused a lot of pain. You know, that could, this person could have really hurt you. Um, in that on and off or inconsistent energy, right? And it's hard to get past that. It's hard to trust that there's going to be change moving forward as well. And I think that's why it's showing up as the challenge here. You do have the strength card here for their next action. So to me, it's just like trying to find the courage and the strength to make changes, to do things differently, to approach you. We're going to get a few of these as well. I don't know what to do. Friends, insecure, wow. and I want more with you. So some of you guys could have decided to just be friends or, you know, maybe you guys, this person wants to come in and try to be friends for some of you guys and then, you know, they do want more with you. Some of them just don't know. Some of them could have, um, I'm also getting with that friends energy. Some of you or them could have have could have could friends that had things to say, right? That were kind of getting into the connection. Maybe they think you have friends that don't like them now because of, you know, the past and they're saying things to you. They could feel like that. They could be very insecure about that. Um, they could have had, just had a lot of insecurities in general. I feel like their insecurities could cause them to hesitate in reaching out, right? Because they don't want to get rejected. They're kind of protecting themselves here. They're feeling a little bit torn. But I do feel like this person does want more with you here. I feel like they are ready to make some changes. I think they are ready to take things seriously. I think there's some fears that, that you've already released them, that you've already moved on from this. Um, 
So I, I guess this is up to you. You know, only you guys get to decide. I do feel like this person is going to find the courage. We're going to clarify this real quick. But I do feel like they are going to find the courage to reach out. They definitely want to have a conversation with you. Yeah, the world card in the reverse. This is still open to them. They do not want this to be closed out. They want to talk. They want to talk. Tell me about this strength card. You got the seven of cups in the reverse. So this person wasn't clear about what they wanted in the past, but they are now. Eight of swords in the reverse, but they, you're worried that you've, really, you know, that one I feel like this is resonating to is one I feel like they are concerned that you've already started to release them or that you're not as interested in them as you once were. Um, the eight of swords in the reverse can also talk about them releasing the fears and the things that have held them back, right? So I do feel like this person is ready to make changes, ready to take this seriously. I think they do want more with you. I feel like they are feeling a little bit hesitant, a little bit insecure. And it could have taken this person a while to get there. And I feel like it could have really hurt you. And it's understandable, um, you know, hesitation there. But that is what I have for you, Aries. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me, and I will see you soon.